to the new topic called as intervertebral disc prolapse which is one of the most uh, commonest uh, causes of back pain also so here you can see uh, different types of uh, spinal pathology starting from the top you can see that the disc is getting degenerative below if you come there is a bulging disc then if you see a very less difference between a bulging disc and a herniated disc and then the disc is coming out a part of the disc is coming out that is called as a herniated disc and the last one is a thinning of the disc so you can see the size is getting reduced so the different various pathologies which may mimic also AVDP so we need to take care of other parts also while we are diagnosing the AVDP coming back uh, to the different uh, studies which has been done in uh, IVDP. As you can see that uh, there are a few studies which uh, shows that the prevalence of the IVDP is less clinically. I won't say uh, physiologically but clinically the symptoms are less. If I would say you know doing a systematic review of so many studies like this and even this one. So you will see that the clinically the complaints are very less. That is less than 20% I would say uh, looking into many studies. Uh, so it's not a major stuff uh, what we do consider uh, grossly but yes it can go into a very serious uh, aspect also so coming back to the other parts now if you see the mri of any kind of ivdp you can see this disc bulge just like this i have marked up over here so disc is coming out posteriorly towards the spine this side here also you can see the disc is coming out that is the bulge so the blackish part and the whitish part also shows the healthiness of the disc so here you can see how much healthy it is or while you can see the healthiness is a little bit less so coming back uh, to the direction of the disc depending upon the direction of the list uh, we need to plan the physiotherapy management okay so now this is one of the major major uh, maybe important aspect what we need to think we keep saying rest but I would say it is the planned rest which will help the IVDP. So what is a planned rest? So as I said earlier also, when we say rest, uh, rest doesn't mean only rest. So when you see a report and you see that the disc is uh, coming back, that is in the posterior aspect, since it is still uh, liquidy, the jelly area. So we need to think in which area the person needs to rest. Uh, does he need to lie in a specific position so that this disc can go back? to its original position and how it will go back okay. so I'll uh, give very few uh, ideas to tackle this so plan rest uh, whenever you think about plan rest think about the position now this time whenever you get a patient or whenever you see a patient like this think about the MRI study where the disc is moving whether it's moving posterior or whether it's moving anterior or whether central depending upon that plan and then give the rest now you can talk about purun. What is purun? When you lie down uh, on the stomach, okay, in the bed, uh, then it is called the purun position. So what may happen in the purun position if the disc is supposed in the posterior aspect? What we saw in this, in the posterior aspect. So what can happen is in the purun position with the gravity assistance and maybe keeping a pillow near the abdomen, the disc will try to go back. In this so intermittent uh, position of the prune I don't say maybe seven to eight hours of prune but intermittent position of the prune will help to restore the disc into the back depending upon the age and also the stage of IVDP so we need to take care of many other factors while this uh, asking them to go for a prone position the another position talking about that is supine when like normally when we lie down in this also the lumbar curve is there but depending upon if the disc is posterior in earlier cases like this if the disc is a posterior aspect then I won't recommend supine uh, in this in this uh, supine uh, if the disc is healthy and uh, in a jelly also made material then it may facilitate the with the gravity to come down much more in the posterior direction. 
and that's why it's very very uh, necessary uh, to think about planned rest uh, there are other different position with the different leg position also to increase the lumbar lordosis and to flatten that so there are many more modifications that we need to think about when we think about planned rest depending upon the age and depending upon the stage of IVDP thank you